Another one. Woo! It's a no, little stacked e out here, so we're gonna see the top level a little bit later, aren't we, Skiff? Absolutely. I mean, Emas is a, uh, a native of the Middle East from Saudi Arabia, um, so they, that's gonna be a huge name that we will see later on as well, for sure. I mean, this guy's taking some big tournaments as it is. Beat some of the uh, your favorite names, some of your favorite people out in the UK as well, and just EU. Like that guy, it, they are that dude, pretty much. But as we get into this game here, we got Zolane taking on three, three lie. Or maybe that's just Eli. I'm not sure. Well, I'll go with Eli. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go with Eli. I mean, people we got, got a little bit the of the a little bit of the leet speak in there. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I remember that first tag we saw. It looked like a Call of, Do Call of Duty, like you know, color coding gamer tag. You know, yeah, you know, people use the backwards three for it. So it's looking like we got Rob versus the Wii Fit Trainer. Two of definitely like the weirdest characters to ever have been added to Smash, in my humble opinion. One is a toy, and the other is the trainer from the exercise game. But you know, nevertheless, they're here. Oh, really good reactions off of the volleyball right there. Actually able to get the up tilt narrowly off of it, and very smart of um. Very smart of Zolane, actually, to use the up tilt as well instead, because a lot of other Wii Fit trainers would have up smashed right there, at a percent where it wouldn't have killed. They were trying to get more damage on before that happened. Oh, and now we smart. see Zolane try to get some of those gyro setups, pick it up a bit of damage. I mean, 35%, it's nothing to scoff at, but you definitely could have got a lot more. But either way, uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be, you're absolutely right, This not only are these two of the more unique characters that have been added to Smash, but they also just have unique movesets for the most part, too. A lot of strange stuff happening here, but there's going to be a lot of projectiles happening between uh, just <laughs> the entire set, assuming nobody changes. But right now, we're trying to see if Zolane can find a way to answer back, because man, Eli is kind of killing it here. Yeah, you know, Eli's just really holding on to good oh, stage neutral. This is where, like, the... This is where the Rob factor really, like, comes in, you know? Like, people think of Rob and they think of the zero to deaths and whatnot. They never think about, like, the work they have to do to get those zero to deaths. Like, how to hold stage control against a character who can maintain good stage control themselves and also camp the ledge as really well as Wii Fit Trainer. And right now, the pressure is on on the part of Eli. No stocks lost on them yet, as this Wii Fit Trainer Zolane is struggling to get it back. But that's, uh, Angel Platform Legend Vulnerability, my friend. That mm -hmm. means for Wii Fit Trainer, a free deep breathing. So let's see if they can take advantage of it. All right, I'm getting confirmation that apparently it is 3LI, so our mistake on that part. Uh, we are going to expect a little bit of help from people in the chat. If you know how to pronounce some of these tags, just let us know, man. We'll, we'll definitely adapt as needed. But right now, 3LI still looking good, even with losing that stock. But man, if there's one thing we know, especially you <laughs> from the land of John Numbers, is that uh, Wii Fit Trainer is a character and a good character at that. Yeah, we're actually a lot more used to seeing this character than some of you watching might think, to be honest. Wii Fit Trainer is... Ooh, that's a beautiful... That would have been a great read with the, uh, with the down air right there, but unfortunately not able to get the height differential enough as Zolane is fighting slowly but surely trying to make this back. It can be so hard to do for a character like Wii Fit Trainer who... You know, this character has a lot of hitboxes that hit on both sides of her, but at the same time, a lot of those hitboxes are really, really awkward. And when you have a Rob that's as mobile as 3LI right here, as this sh Ooh, not gonna be the stock, beautiful mash out on the part of 3LI, it could be pretty rough for a character like Wii Fit Trainer to be able to make it back. The character's not exactly like a zone breaker archetype kind, you know? This is a character that says, I camp, I get deep breathing, and then I hit you like four times and you die. That's, that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Well, there we go, try to use that laser for a little bit of that snipe action. I think might be too low. I, they would have would have made it, but the problem is that you're recovering from that angle. You are going to deal with a Rob down air just straight up. There's just no way around that. So a bit of an unfortunate situation there for Zolane at the end. But I mean, you just got to adapt your gameplay style a little bit here. Wii Fit Trainer can absolutely box with some of the best, especially once you get that deep breathing out there. Those hits start hitting a little bit harder. It, it's kind of messed up how deep breathing works as a mechanic. Mm-hmm. And 3LI's got to be careful with that, even though they won that first game, because Rob, despite, you know, if there's anything else that we know in Tri-State besides Wii Fit Trainer, it's that Rob is big. And so that means that Hurtbox is big, so you might be a little more prone to getting hit by some of those hitboxes. But 3LI, right. I gotta say, like, in that game, more than anything else, besides the edge guarding, the stage control was wonderful on the part of Wii, on the on the part of the Rob. Like, never let themselves get overwhelmed by the Wii Fit Trainer. Did as best of a job as they could to ensure they never got deep breathing in the first place. Really shut down their game before, uh, Zolane's game, before they even got a chance to really begin right there. Said, I'm Rob, I can throw out the gyro, I probably have better frame data. You know, I can control this stage way better than you. And to stop you from getting that stage control is how you stop them from getting deep breathing in the first place. Mm -hmm. But there you go. Actually, finally going to get it on deck and making me eat my words right there. Let's see what Zolane's going to be able to do with it in this game number two. 
And it was a bit of a nice treat to see the uh, what, Northern Cave. You know, I like, I listen, I do like the stage. It's, it is unfortunate that we can't really run it because of just the issues it presents players. And like, I wish that we, we could just get a static background, you know, because that stage is actually, I personally really, really love that stage. It just, you know, gotta, gotta take into consideration. Sometimes players have a bit of struggle there, but either way, going into Kalos now, which is kind of like a, a larger <laughs> Northern Cave. These two definitely seem to be a fan of those two side platforms. But there we go. A couple back airs closing that one out, man. And yeah, 3 li they have a nice little bit of momentum from that game one. And they're certainly just running with it. Yeah, and I'm not exactly sure if Zone Lane wants to like use these platforms to as like sort of an escape to get deep breathing a little more, a recourse for combos, or if they feel like it'd be better for like the ledge traps, maybe the edge guards with the volleyball and whatnot. But we're really not seeing Zone Lane get in any of those situations in the first game, so I'm wondering how they're going to be able to do that in the next one. Like, on one hand, I kind of feel like a larger stage might have been a little bit questionable here because I feel like a smaller one might have been better for overwhelming a character like Rob and having sort of creating like a less of a no-fly zone for Rob to be able to get away from Wii Fit Trainer's crazy powerful hitboxes. Long range, you know, like, I feel like Rob can just control space with the gyro pretty well, and that's exactly where Zolane was faulting pretty hard that first game. So this being sort of just a larger version of Northern Cave, like you mentioned, Skiff, might not be the best case, and so far it's not exactly working out for Zolane in the way that they would like. Pretty prone to potentially losing this next stock really quickly if Zolane's not careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they definitely want a little bit of extra space. I do like the attempt there. Unfortunately, you got to deal with the wacky, waving, inflatable arms. Well, they're not quite inflatable. <laughs> well, of Rob, you know, that up air definitely a, uh, <laughs> a beast in Smash Bros. sometimes. I remember, like, the the first two years, how do you DI Rob up air was the biggest question in the game. And uh, yeah. here we are, man, <laughs> four years later now. But, yeah, so far, really not that bad for 3LI. They are just kind of continuing to play the same game here. And honestly, like, this is a really good stage for Rob as it is. I mean, like, he likes the extra space, and this gives him a lot of space to also get some strong hits, some great combos. Setup is are definitely there. But Zolane, make a little bit of something happen, but not enough. Borderline lapping and jot only stocks, but percent as well. Now we see Zolane hanging off the stage a little bit. I feel like an F tilt by the ledge would even do it by this point. So you're probably going to see even less committal options come out from the part of 3LI. They have no reason to. You know, you have this much of a lead. You have the Wii Fit Trainer forced to approach you, which is not something that is the easiest thing for Wii Fit Trainer to be able to do in the first place. Then add Gyro to that equation. Oh, it's going to be rough. Like, look at like, look at how 3 li is playing. No reason to commit. Just keep throwing out those gyros, keep throwing out those lasers, throwing out the occasional F-tilt, keeping the ledge trap going to the point where you're going to get Zolane to percent where forward air is going to be able to kill. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely looking like 3 li just game to lose right now as the stage control this set has been dominant on the part of 3 li I feel like that's been, like, the deciding factor so far for this Rob right now, Skiff, throughout this set. Yeah, but here's the other side of that, right? I mean, we know Rob is big. He's kind of a, you know, he's got a de some decent weight to him. But look at this, 203. Now, part of that is to attribute to Kalos, but it's also kind of a, a struggle here because Zolane just can't. Get shield grab and continuing to build up this damage as well. Looking good so far, hanging all the way up at the top, deep breathing on deck, but you're already at 215%. That much is not going to matter. You see how patient 3 Li is playing. Well, like, I'm just going to go up here. You can't hit me up here. Yeah, you, got mean, hula, you got a hula hoop? What you is can't it fly with that. <laughs> the, 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 the game, technically, but not really as the part of 3 Li. Less only throws this away. It is definitely looking like his game to lose, but Zolan oh. still not giving up, trying slowly but surely to bring it back. One stock is all they need to really start to really get this going, but one stock for 3 Eli to bring it back. Ooh. I like the little trick they tried to do there by throwing the gyro against the stage just to cover that ground. This might be it, though. You yep. know what? A three stock, when you're sitting at 234%, is rough. That is very rough. I'd rather be... Th I, I would rather be three stocked, right? with sitting at about like 60%, 70%, right? Because I'm like, all right, cool. You know, my opponent really just dominated me. I really could not, um, you know, hit anything, whatever. They were just all over the place. But getting the 234 and just not able to close that out, definitely a little bit rough here. And oh, apparently it's not 3LI. It's actually just Ali. <laughs> oh my lord oh uh, we're sorry man we're, we're trying our best here we're hearing a couple of different things but okay we'll we'll, we'll go with uh <laughs> we'll go with ali we'll, we'll try to we'll try to ad adapt to that later apologies Understood. apologies to ali but we'll uh 
We'll definitely try to remember as we move forward. But honestly, a great if match for them. only numbers were, were <laughs> phonetic in, in, right. the, in the English lexicon. Am I right? If only. Yeah. Well, apparently the number three is a 